On the morning of May 3rd, 2014, in a bustling four-star hotel in the heart of Guangzhou, a diligent housekeeper embarked on her daily task of tidying up the guests' rooms. She entered a room recently vacated by a seemingly fastidious guest, only to be greeted by an unexpected sight. The room was spotless, unusually so. Maybe the guest was exceptionally tidy, she mused, appreciating the ease it brought to her job. As part of her thorough routine, she started by sweeping and mopping, methodically working from the room's interior towards the exit. However, her routine took an abrupt turn upon entering the bathroom. The scene before her was startlingly different. The bathroom was flooded with a repugnant odour wafting through the air. She suspected a typical hair clog in the drain. Undeterred by this common nuisance, she reached for her trusty tool to unclog the drain. What happened next was anything but ordinary. As she cleared the blockage, a mysterious yellow object emerged from the depths of the drain. Piqued by curiosity, she carefully examined it, discovering its soft, pliable nature reminiscent of a chunk of yellow fat. Her seasoned experience in cooking kicked in as she scrutinized the substance further. To her growing horror, it resembled not the fat used in cooking, but something more sinister human body fat. The realization sent a shiver down her spine. Overcome with dread, she let out a piercing scream and bolted from the room. She rushed to the hotel reception, her voice trembling as she urged them to call the police. What started as a routine day had spiralled into a chilling discovery, setting in motion an investigation that would uncover deeply unsettling truths. As the police units descended upon the scene, their arrival marked the beginning of a meticulous investigation, piercing through the quietude of the Guangzhou Hotel. The forensic team, with their seasoned expertise, swiftly began their analysis. The unsettling discovery by the housekeeper, a fragment of fat, was soon identified as human muscle tissue from an adult female. This chilling revelation confirmed a recent murder in the now eerily quiet hotel room. The police swiftly cordoned off the hotel, transforming it into a sprawling crime scene. With a blend of methodical precision and urgency, they expanded their search. In the shadowed corners of a staircase, they uncovered a series of plastic bags, each one a macabre jigsaw puzzle of human remains, ominously devoid of the skull and leg bones of the victim. This find only deepened the mystery. The crime scene itself was devoid of clues, a testament to the perpetrator's meticulous efforts to erase their tracks. The police's next recourse was the hotel's surveillance footage, a digital eye that captured the comings and goings of its guests. The footage from April 30th unveiled the identity of the deceased, Yang Muqing, a woman who had checked into the hotel and retreated to her room, unaware of the fate that awaited her. The camera's unblinking gaze revealed more. Within a brief 10-minute window, Yang Muqing had descended to the reception, only to vanish from the camera's view forever. This stark timeline suggested a grim truth. Yang Muqing's life was brutally cut short shortly after her return to her room. 
Seeking more pieces to this harrowing puzzle, the police reached out to Yang Muqing's family. They painted a picture of a woman who had embarked on an early May vacation, her silence in the following days, an unheeded harbinger of tragedy. The questions that hung in the air were as palpable as the sense of loss. Who had Yang Muqing crossed paths with? What sequence of events led to such a savage end? The answers lay hidden, shrouded in the silent walls of the hotel room, waiting to be unearthed by the relentless pursuit of justice. The absence of theft from Yang Muqing's possessions led the police to deduce that the motive behind her murder transcended financial gain. Surveillance footage became a crucial witness, capturing Yang Muqing descending the hotel stairs to retrieve personal hygiene items, a detail that hinted at the presence of another person in her room. The lens of the hotel's cameras soon revealed a figure of intrigue, a man cloaked in anonymity, donned in a purple shirt, blue jeans, a hat and a mask, slipping into the hotel unregistered and heading straight upstairs. This shadowy figure haunted the corridors during Yang Muqing's stay, his comings and goings marked by a consistent clutching of personal belongings. Delving into Yang Muqing's personal life, the police uncovered a past marred by tragedy. Her husband's death in a car accident had plunged her into deep grief and a vow of eternal widowhood. This discovery cast the mysterious man in the footage under a shroud of suspicion. His final appearance on camera, carrying Yang Muqing's suitcase, escaped scrutiny amidst the bustle of May Day and the hotel's relaxed checkout procedures. The puzzle deepened as police scrutiny of the footage revealed the man's possession of a red plastic bag, possibly containing human remains. Forensic analysis chillingly suggested these remains matched the size of Yang Muqing's missing leg bones, with the likelihood of her severed head being concealed within the suitcase. The man's behavior, his constant toting of the bag, led investigators to a grim conclusion. They were tracking Yang Muqing's killer. Despite his concealed appearance, there was no hint of panic in his movements. Through urban surveillance, the police tracked his movements post-hotel. In a turn of events that defied conventional criminal patterns, the suspect didn't flee, but instead walked calmly to a vegetable market, carrying the grisly contents. The subsequent disappearance of the red bag suggested a macabre disposal of Yang Muqing's remains, possibly at a pork stall, a thought that chilled the spine. With urgency, the police intensified their search, leading to the discovery of the discarded red bag in a trash bin at a pork stall. DNA tests confirmed the horrifying truth. The remains were indeed Yang Muqing's. The methodical dismemberment indicated a perpetrator with professional training, possibly a doctor or a butcher, with an unsettling familiarity with the market environment. The investigation then took to the bustling market street. Clues emerged from a motorcyclist's encounter with the mysterious man on May 3rd. His description, a man shrouded and enigmatic, offering a red paper in an unsettling gesture of silence, painted a vivid image in the investigators' minds. Armed with this lead, the police mobilized swiftly. Their investigation led them to Xinfeng village, where the man was believed to be hiding. 
Approaching the hotel with a blend of caution and determination, the police prepared to unravel the final chapter of this harrowing case, poised to bring the shadowy figure lurking in Xinfeng village into the glaring light of justice. In the hushed corridor of the hotel, police officers stealthily approached the suspect's room. With a swift, decisive motion, they breached the door, revealing the startled face of the man inside. Zhang Jian, 35, was caught unawares. His reaction time outpaced by the swift action of the law. In moments, he was subdued, his brief moment of bewilderment giving way to the reality of his capture. The apprehension of Zhang Jian, a former inmate with a history of theft and robbery, proceeded without a hitch. His post-prison life as a pork butcher suggested a desensitization to the act of killing, a chilling precursor to his current accusations. Throughout the interrogation, he exuded an eerie calmness, almost as if he was detached from the gravity of his situation, anticipating imminent freedom. Confronted with the question of his motive for murdering Yang Muqing, Zhang Jian's response was coldly pragmatic. There was no personal vendetta. He was simply a hired hand. His refusal to divulge the identity of his employer, however, stymied the investigation, casting a shadow of mystery over the proceedings. The police, driven by necessity, delved deeper into Zhang Jian's past and connections, unveiling a complex web of relationships and coincidences. The tragic twist in the tale came with the revelation that Yang Muqing, once a happily married woman, had lost her husband in a car accident, an accident for which Zhang Jian was responsible. This sinister coincidence raised a myriad of questions. Was there underlying animosity between Zhang Jian and Yang Muqing? Could it be that he had not only caused the death of her husband, but had also been the orchestrator of her own demise? The possibility of a dark and twisted vendetta, potentially rooted in a secret affair, hung heavily in the air, adding layers of intrigue and malice to an already convoluted case. Confronted with the weight of evidence arrayed before him, Zhang Jian's facade crumbled. In a moment of realization that his deception was untenable, he capitulated, confessing all to the police in a bid for mercy. His revelation was startling. The orchestration of Yang Muqing's husband's death was not solely his doing. Yang Muqing herself was the architect of the sinister plot. Yang Muqing, a strikingly attractive accountant at a state-owned enterprise, possessed a charm that didn't wane even in the bonds of matrimony, drawing numerous admirers. With time, her vanity was fed by this constant adulation, leading her to foster a frivolous disposition. This burgeoning vanity bloomed into a deep-seated dissatisfaction with her loyal and good-hearted husband, culminating in a complete emotional detachment from him. During this period, He Qiang, a figure of authority and influence, fell deeply for Yang Muqing. Their affair rapidly intensified. And as Yang Muqing's disdain for her husband grew, she sought to sever their marital ties. However, her husband, profoundly in love with her, could not bring himself to grant her a divorce.
Frustrated and desperate, Yang Muqing confided in He Qiang about her husband's refusal to dissolve their marriage. She posed a chilling query. Could they compel him to relent, to pave the way for their union? This led to a nefarious pact with Zhang Jian, incentivizing him with 300,000 RMB to eliminate her husband. Zhang Jian, now a mercenary in this twisted plot, enacted their plan. He lay in wait on the route frequented by Yang Muqing's husband, striking with lethal force and staging it as a car accident. Yang Muqing, though inwardly exultant, played the part of the grieving widow to perfection, ensuring Zhang Jian evaded responsibility. After serving a brief prison term, Zhang Jian walked free, the truth of his crime obscured. In the aftermath, Yang Muqing was perceived by the world as a bereaved widow, a portrait of solitary mourning. Little did they know, she and He Qiang reveled in their covert relationship, basking in the freedom procured through their dark deed. To the oblivious onlooker, He Qiang and Yang Muqing appeared as nothing more than a devoted couple, shrouded in the guise of normalcy. As time passed, Yang Muqing's discontent simmered into a deep-seated dissatisfaction. Despite her drastic actions, orchestrating her husband's murder for He Qiang, she felt her grip on him slipping away. He Qiang, already divorced and her secret lover, persistently dodged commitments, fueling Yang Muqing's growing frustration and anxiety. Within her, a dark plan began to take shape. Yang Muqing, no longer content with being a hidden affair, issued an ultimatum to He Qiang, marry her or face public scandal. He Qiang, initially captivated by her youthful allure, had never envisioned a future tethered to her. Confronted with her demands and threats, he was driven to a desperate resolution. He sought out Zhang Jian, offering a hefty sum of 300,000 RMB to eliminate Yang Muqing, the very woman for whom he once professed love. On the fateful day of April 30th, 2014, under the guise of a romantic getaway, Yang Muqing requested He Qiang to book a hotel room. Obligingly, he Qiang set the trap, communicating the plan to Zhang Jian. Armed with the grim tools for a grisly task, Zhang Jian shadowed Yang Muqing into her room, where he coldly executed the murder. Methodically, he dismembered her body, erasing her existence piece by piece. Over three days, he shuttled the remnants from the hotel, blinded by the lure of the money awaiting him, unaware of the impending grip of justice. The harrowing truth eventually unraveled. He Qiang, the mastermind cloaked as a lover, was apprehended and cast into the snares of the legal system alongside Zhang Jian. Both now faced the stark reality of their crimes, awaiting judgment and retribution. In this twisted narrative, the most poignant tragedy lay with Yang Muqing's unsuspecting husband. His death, shrouded in ignorance and betrayal, would have remained a mystery had Yang Muqing's own fate not led to its revelation. He perished, tragically unaware that his demise was orchestrated by the one he cherished most. This case starkly illustrates the far-reaching arm of the law, 
unyielding and thorough, ensuring that every transgression receives its due punishment. Yang Muqing, driven by selfish desires, fell into a web of manipulation, ultimately meeting a fate she never envisioned. The moral decay of Yang Muqing and He Qiang, their utter disregard for the sanctity of life, stands as a chilling testament to human fallibility. This lamentable tale serves as a stark reminder. Embrace kindness, sincerity, and integrity in all dealings. Life's ephemeral nature renders material possessions and shallow pursuits meaningless in the grand scheme. The price of sacrificing one's soul and loved ones for unrequited love or fleeting desires is a toll far too heavy to bear. Let He Qiang's downfall be a cautionary tale against the destructive path of infidelity. In a world rife with temptations, maintaining a heart of sincerity, a spirit of diligence, and an unwavering adherence to moral and legal principles is paramount. Let this story be a dialogue starter on the importance of upholding ethical standards and respecting the sanctity of life. Share your thoughts and join the conversation in the comments below.